Howdy champs, my name is Mohedan People. Today, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to uh, use an array, how to extract the values of an array and use them. It's super easy, guys. Uh, in fact, let's start with the browser preview straight away. Now, this, this file is a, a very useful combo of using the animate.css which is a library full of animations it's in public domain you can uh, freely download it off the internet and along with that I made use of arrays in jQuery and JavaScript and this is the result so we are generating one two three four five and six boxes uh, through plain uh, jQuery. Okay. Once generated, we are picking up six different values from the array, which you can see in line number 29. And the array has the effects such as bounce in, bounce in left, zoom in, rubber band, flip, hinge, and you can add so many more effects and these effects are actually pre-written in the animate.css animations library which is in public domain it's a huge file guys see if I scroll it down you'll find see if you can write your own animations but you know they are time-consuming they are complicated the syntax is lengthy sometimes they are very difficult to understand for some people okay so animate.css you can see more than 300 uh, 3300 lines it was a big big file but so many pre-written uh, classes these classes can then be used in your projects the only condition is that you have to use every time a compulsory class called animated and thereafter you can use the effects uh, again in terms of classes this is a class bounce which is actually an effect okay so as I said this is in public domain just type animate.css in Google and uh, you'll be able to download it from github okay and this is uh, in fact the file name I need to change this earlier I created balls <laughs> now these are uh, perfect squares so I need to change it well the name doesn't really matter the effect does okay so uh, I'll explain everything in part number two and I'll also leave the code um, in the disk you know the link for the the source code in the description down below uh, I'll, I'll actually copy paste this whole project in codepen.io which is an online editor and it generates a link and that link you can easily uh, you can see the source code and for your benefit guys every now and then I have actually left comments so here I'm saying running each uh, to iterate over running each to iterate over each item in array <laughs> I'm sorry some mistake here running each function should be function to iterate over each item in array okay let's save it up obviously a comment does not affect the final output it's just a comment so we have used the each function out here which actually digs in and picks up value by value since we have one two three four five and six values which are actually classes which we add later on uh, see we have used the add class uh, method out there and we've used a variable effect in which we generate a division with the class animated we use the CSS method uh, we've used the append to method We've used the add class method, append method, which is slightly different from the append to method, okay, and to generate 
the divisions which are actually boxes over time one by one I've also used the set timeout function which uses a delay and that delay I go on incrementing after every one single second that is the reason why these boxes appear one by one after a time interval okay so we have a nested function so we have a set timeout function inside the each function right so uh, it may seem complicated but uh, I'll, I'll try and make it as easy as possible because I, I like to break things up I'll break it up I'll break it up and make it very simple for you right so do not worry but you need to see me in the the next part the last part to understand how this was done on the top you can actually see it tells the side of the box the the the, the square is 171 191 161 197 172 193 pixels etc you can actually see that I am generating a random number here between 150 and 200 and then turning into a string why did I actually turn it into a string through the parsint method is because when we use the CSS method it requires me to enter let's say the dimension which is a variable uh, in terms of a string see the color is also a string so we need to enter a string out here so that's the reason we use the pass int method so it takes the integer from the fraction and turns it into a string that's what pass int does math dot random method generates a random number between 0 and 1 and when you multiply it with uh, 51 add 150 to it the result is uh, a number a whole number an integer an integer between 150 and 200 you can put on your logic cap and you can see how when we multiply a number between 0 and 1 which is generated through the math.random function and then multiplied with 51 and add 150 you'll have to be a little mathematical out here you'll get a number and then you round it up you basically floor it so you remove the f uh, you know the fraction part and what you're left with is the integer and when you pass it it turns into a string so guys I'll see you in the next part won't uh, we meet each other bye bye then peace